and welcome back to The Final Review. My name is Sydney and I'll be your host for the six segment video series for Dr. Rivers and his public rhetoric class. So today we'll be talking about another classic installment of the Final Fantasy series, which happens to be the creator's, Hironobu Sakaguchi's, most favorite installment of the Final Fantasy series, claiming that this is the ideal view of what Final Fantasy was meant to be like. So here it is. Today we'll be talking about Final Fantasy IX. Originally premiering in Japan on July 11th, 2000, Final Fantasy IX was released in North America in November of that same year for the Sony PlayStation, selling more than 5.3 million units worldwide as of March 31st, 2003. This game was heavily promoted before and after its release, and strategies included the distribution of promotional figurines as prizes in multiple contests, and a line of computer-generated commercials marketed by Coca-Cola. And as of now, Final Fantasy IX is still available for its original Sony PlayStation form and downloadable from the PlayStation Network. The story involves one of the world's finest theater troops, Tantalus, who also happens to be a sneaky band of thieves who plan to perform and kidnap Alexandria's young princess. Zidane, Princess Garnett, and the mysterious Vivi begin their journeys of self-identity and to save the world from the wicked Kuja, whose interests involve in Zidane's origins. The battle system in Final Fantasy IX uses a similar active time bar as previous Final Fantasy installments. When a character's ATB gauge is filled, that character can choose a command to use against an enemy. Normally, enemies attack whenever it's their turn, but the battle system can be set to a wait mode, where the enemy is unable to attack a character while a player chooses an action from the battle menu. Also, continuing the tradition started in Final Fantasy VII, this game incorporates limit breaks, now known as a trance. When a character sustains hits in battle, the trance gauge fills and Trance Mode automatically changes a character's appearance, boosts their abilities, and either gives them a new skill or set of skills only to be used in a Trance Mode. Final Fantasy IX was intended to return to the fantasy roots of the series, which included knights, wizards, dragons, wolves, kings and queens, and the themes pertaining to the crystals. In contrast, the installments Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII featured a science fiction slant. The characters of Final Fantasy IX were deliberately rendered in a more animated fashion to reflect this return to the tradition, in contrast to the characters of Final Fantasy VII and VIII, who had been depicted in a more realistic fashion. One thing to note is that Final Fantasy IX has character jobs, something absent from the last few installments of the series. And while not explicitly stated, each character in the game has an obvious job and skill sets based on the traditions of Final Fantasy installments before it. For example, Zidane is a thief who can steal, and Princess Garnett is a white mage who uses healing magic Characters are largely blank slates to be heavily customized by the player based on their classes and cannot, and I mean cannot, be changed during the course of the game. These permanent jobs are meant to emphasize the importance of building an effective fighting force whose strengths and weaknesses balance out one another. But in short, the game screws you over with more characters that swipe useless stuff than can heal. And like the first commandment goes, Thou shall not enter battle until you have a proper healer. Thou shall lose all hope if your only healer is dead. Among the most notable features in Final Fantasy IX is the presence of different illusions that represents the history of the series and simultaneously promoting its progress. The biggest example being the Black Mages that appear as a crucial element of the storyline represented foremost by the playable party member, Vivi. 
These attributes lead players to unravel the characters and their sense of identity. My rating for Final Fantasy IX is an 8 out of 10. So I hope you all enjoyed this video half as much as I enjoyed making it. Tune in next time for we'll be talking about the newly remastered Final Fantasy X. So stick around and I'll see you then. Segment video series for Dr. Rivers and his, oh god I ran out of breath. <laughs> <laughs>